Tom. Julian, please. Rapunzel, Rapunzel! Ah! No, it's not working. It doesn't sound right. I don't like the name. Julian, be reasonable. We can't change Rapunzel's name to Jane. The play is called Rapunzel. Does this sound familiar to you, dear? Oh, yes. Either the name goes or I go. Hmm. Take another break, everybody. Having problems, Flora? Oh, Father. Julian, is it possible? He wants the whole show to change to suit him. What am I supposed to do? Well, it seems to me it's the director's job to be in charge of the play. But Julian is the best actor we've got. We can't afford to lose him, and he knows it. Did you ever hear of the great Mademoiselle Soratosa? Well, she was the greatest ballerina anyone had ever seen. And when she graciously agreed to come to Celesteville to perform with our company, we were very honored and very excited. I am so nervous, I can't stand it. She's almost here. Yes, Baba, you must be congratulated. I know what an uphill battle it was for you to convince the world's prima ballerina to come all the way to Celesteville to perform. Yes, it was tough, but judging from the response, it was worth it. Announcing Mademoiselle Rosa, Anastasia Soratosa. You do us a great honor with your presence. I should think so. <clears throat> Please allow me to present Miss Celeste, a member of the Celesteville Ballet Company. She'll be your understudy. I can't tell you what an inspiration you are to me. I promise I'll work hard and be the best understudy you've ever had. Oh, try your best if you wish, but I doubt I'll need one. I never miss a performance. Well, I hope you'll enjoy the little reception we've put together. <laughs> Charming. Unfortunately, I've had quite enough admiration this evening. If you'll excuse me, I must rest. Rehearsals in the morning. Isn't she wonderful, Babar? I'll say. A true professional. Madame Sortosa didn't sleep well that night. She complained that the mattress was too hard, Chef Truffle's cooking was too rich, and that the Celesteville spring water was too wet. We realized that Madame Sortosa was not an easy person to please, but she was the star. Every performance is completely sold out, thanks to Mademoiselle Sortosa. Ah! Gracious! That sounded like the Mademoiselle. May I come in, Mademoiselle Sortosa? I'm not coming out until you do something about him. Who? Me. The director? He doesn't share my vision of this ballet. I know how I should do it. I can't, I won't, and I don't work with amateurs. But, but Mademoiselle Sortosa. I don't have to stand for this abuse. And neither do I. Either he goes or I go. That's it. I've had it. Goodbye. Where are we going to find another director? Oh, I'm sure you will be perfect. Me? Just remember that the best direction is the direction I give you, and we'll get along famously. <coughs> I take it you handled it well, Baba? Real well, Cornelius. Meet the new director. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The next few days were very difficult. And as a result of Madame Sortosa's constant complaints, many of our cast and crew had quit. I couldn't blame them for leaving. And as the director, I was stuck in the middle of it all. Ah! I do believe that's your cue, sire. <laughs> person are you? A professional would have anticipated my sneeze. <coughs> I'm sure it was just a simple mistake. 
there is no room for simple mistakes in the ballet. I'm afraid either she goes... She's gone. Thank you, Baba. You handled that marvelously well. Shall we begin? News of the great Sortosa's performance spread to Rhinoland. Lady Retaxas admired her and wanted very much to attend. Unfortunately, ballet was not one of Latax's favorite pastimes. The greatest ballerina in the world is dancing in Celesteville, and all you can say is, that's nice, dear. Uh, that's very nice, dear. Ah. Oh, Basil, get two tickets to the ballet. And Basil, you might want to get yourself a tuxedo to wear while you're at it. Absolutely, Your Highness. Oh, no, Basil. Lord Retaxis and I will be attending. Absolutely, Your Highnesses. <laughs> yeah. Now, dearest, what would my hard-nosed rhino troops think if they found out that I was going to an evening of leaping leotards, tasseled tutus, and classical music in Celesteville. Perhaps they would suspect that you possessed a tiny fragment of culture. Exactly. <gasps> so then it's true. One guy. Uh, I am a barbarian's wife. <sighs> no, you're not, my dear. I've got lots of culture. Rhino culture, the best kind. <sighs> you mean barbarian culture. So be it. I'll never calm my artistic heart. Oh, oh all right. I'll get tickets. Uh, front row center? Yes. And promise you'll leave your sword at home? Uh, yes. Oh, darling. I may not be a barbarian's wife after all. Shall I get you a tuxedo, your Highness? On guard! Yeah! Basil! Although time was running out, rehearsals proceeded, despite the fact that we had lost half the company. And as if we didn't have enough problems... Madam Sortosa! It is I, Lady Retaxis, your biggest admirer. I've come to sit at your feet and wonder at your artistry. I'm sorry, Lady Retaxis, but these are closed rehearsals. But for such a patron of the arts, we shall make an exception. But Mademoiselle Sortosa. I feel a headache coming on. Okay, okay. Please have a seat. Can we continue? Isn't this exciting? This time, there's a blue spotlight on me. Blue light makes me look splotchy. We'll have the lighting man change it. Better yet, have the lighting man changed. But obviously, he has no color sense. Going, going, gone. The days wore on and our patience wore thin. The slightest offense caused Madame to suffer her usual headache and retire to her dressing room, grinding our rehearsals to a halt, to which Madame would constantly reply, How am I supposed to know? You're the director. Okay. Celeste, fill in for Mademoiselle Sortosa. What a brilliant idea. Celeste, the understudy. Are you working hard to learn all my steps, dear? Oh, yes, very hard. Wonderful, darling. Let's see your pirouette. Don't waste your time. If I can't make the performance, then you simply do not have a show. <laughs> Celeste, wait! <laughs> this time she's gone too far. She has no right to treat people like this. But no matter what, the show must go on. If she keeps up like this, we won't have a show. With Madame's head tucked into her sandbox, which had become her favorite position, I ran off in search of Celeste, who had left the rehearsals brokenhearted. <laughs> Celeste? 
first. Try not to be upset. We've seen you. You're a very good dancer. But not good enough for Mademoiselle Sortosa. <sighs> I'm all right now. Yeah, well, I'm just about ready to call the whole thing off. But you can't! This show means a lot to the people of Celesteville, and whether we like it or not, Mademoiselle Sortosa is the show. Let's make a deal, just between you and me. I promise to work hard and improve my dancing, and you promise to make sure the show goes on. Deal? <sighs> okay, Celeste. Deal. All right, let's see if we can get this better than yesterday. Maestro? <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant! Bravo! Bravo! <clears throat> they haven't started yet. <laughs> With three days to go, those of us left buckled down and rehearsed when we could. Then, of course, the inevitable occurred. Ah! Oh, Mademoiselle Sertosa! Don't touch me! What happened? I'll tell you what happened. The conductor miscued me. A conductor like that is better suited to taking fares on a trolley. <clears throat> but... And where were you? You're supposed to be the ballerina catcher. You'd be lucky to catch a cold. <laughs> but Mademoiselle, I don't think... But Philippe, come back. We need you. <laughs> That's great! Now the conductor is gone, and the lead gets rid of him! Uh, what? Who? Uh, uh. Retaxis? I'll be in my dressing room until you find suitable replacements. Never before have I been so embarrassed. Embarrassed for being married to a barbarian. Hum. I'm going home to Mama. We have no conductor, no stage crew, no leading man. What do we have? Well, we have you, me, Zephyr, Arthur. Yeah, right. A message from Lord Retaxis. <clears throat> Lady Retaxis is really sore at me, and life's not going to be worth living if this ballet doesn't happen. The show must go on. <clears throat> Any reply? Yes. Tell Retaxis it will go on. Early the next morning, one day before the premiere, I called an emergency meeting. The show had to go on. So we are going to put on the show, one that Celestia will never forget. Your enthusiasm is appreciated, Baba, but are you suggesting the royal we? Why not? We all have talents. Let's use them. Well, if you insist. Actually, I'm rather handy with lighting. After all, I did select all the chandeliers for the entire palace. And I can help with the curtain and backdrops. My tusks! I once filled in as conductor for the Royal Military Band. Well, I'll handle the costumes. What do you think, Arthur? Yeah! I bet I could be a wizard moving props. I can dance for Mademoiselle Sortosa in the rehearsals and fill in as makeup person. What about your leading man? I might know somebody. Thanks anyway, Retaxis, but I'll figure something out. Let's go! Okay, places, everyone. Let's get this rehearsal on the road. <laughs> Cornelius had a hard time hanging onto his baton that night, and the same troubles plagued Arthur and Zephyr as they struggled to hoist the scenery into place. Even Celeste had trouble getting into character, and for the longest time, it felt like we were all just stumbling around in the dark. Goodness gracious! Yeah, has anyone seen my baton? It took all night, but finally we made it through a complete rehearsal. Without a leading man, of course. But I would worry about that later. Splendid, wonderful! <laughs> My tusks, this is exhilarating! <laughs> 
much better. With a little luck, we'll pull this off. There is still one matter unattended to, sire. Our leading man. I'm working on it, Pompadour. You'll see. It was opening night, and the playhouse was packed. We were ready, but where was our leading lady? What am I gonna do? Minutes till curtain time, and no sign of Mademoiselle Sartosa. I think the only sign we'll see is exit. Oh, this has got to be the final humiliation. First, he embarrasses me at the rehearsal. Then he stays up sulking all night, and now this. The shame of attending the ballet without an escort. Perhaps he's out taking a crash course in culture, your ladyship? Hmm. Barbarian! I'm gonna go home to Mama! Mademoiselle Sartosa, everything's set. Everyone's ready. It just won't do. What won't do? Any of it! Any of them! At least the last lot were professional amateurs. Please, Mademoiselle Sertosa, they've worked hard. They all know what to do. Without them, you don't have a show. I am the show. You might have forgotten that, but the audience hasn't. So I shall perform soon. Oh, no, you won't. What? You may be the world's greatest dancer, but you've also been the world's greatest pain. <gasps> no one talks to me like that. Right, because you're always too busy talking like that to somebody else. I don't have to stand for this abuse. I mean this truth. You can't insult me like this. Actually, I can do much better. But after all, you are a lady. Well, I never. You can go ahead and put your show on without me. Thank you. I'm glad you understand. My tusks! Yeah. Good show, what Babar! Is... She certainly I had it coming. Did. I didn't know you had it in you, Babar. Neither did I. Well, I'm impressed. Shall I inform the audience that the show's been cancelled? No. We will perform the ballet without Mademoiselle Sortosa. But, sire, everyone's here to see the leading lady. We have a leading lady. Babar, you don't mean... Oh, Baba! There's still that small matter of a leading man. Of course. May I introduce? Ta da! Oh! Uh, this is my only chance of winning Lady Retax's back. But, but, but. You're desperate, and so am I. You don't think I'd be dressed like this if I wasn't? But, but. Retaxes? Trust me, after getting him into those tights, the rest will be a snap. I hope. Doomed. It's almost over and they haven't made a peep. Completely doomed. I can't stand it any longer. I have to take a look. As we took our bows before the audience, we were delighted. Thanks to Celeste, Retaxas, and the entire company, the show had gone on, with not just one star, but many. Retaxas always prided himself on his fencing abilities. Most of his steps came from that. He was very light on his feet. You know, thrust, repust, parry. Flora? I was just listening, I mean, thinking. And, well, you know all that changing Rapunzel to Jane stuff? Why don't we just forget about it? I mean, we do have a show to put on. <gasps> a wonderful suggestion, Julian. Places, everyone! I believe this will be an excellent show. Even without the taxes. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your golden hair. Thank you.